Hey everybody, it's April. Today I'm talking about how you don't have to be strong before you start planking. We'll talk more about that as we're planking. So I'm going to start on forearms and switch around a little bit. If you're starting on forearms, bring your hands around your biceps so you know you have the right distance. Bring your forearms back out in front of you. You can interlace fingers if you like. Pull your shoulders down your back, then lift your upper back, lift your chest, pull in your belly, come up on your toes, shift your weight forward slightly. The timer has begun. And then we're going to do all of that again. Press into the floor again. We're just not measuring our arms. <laughs> Broaden your upper back, pull in your belly, tighten up your glutes. I don't know if you could see the adjustment I just made, but I sure felt it. <laughs> So you should be in a nice long line in a nice long plank. Your gaze is just down at your knuckles or at your fingertips. You don't want to tilt your chin up or tuck it to your chest. Keep everything active. Pull in your belly. We're at 34 seconds. So uh, one thing to think about is you don't already have to be strong in order to do a plank. You do a plank in order to get stronger. And that's... And that's the thing that comes with doing something difficult. If you only do easy things, you're never going to grow and you're not going to get stronger. So that's something I want you to keep in mind. That's one of the reasons why you're doing this. One minute, I'm going to go ahead and do side plank just for something different. Lifting your hips, stacking your feet if you can, or maybe you have your top foot in front of you. Reaching your top arm, uh, top arm to the sky, really lifting your hips so you're kind of exaggerating that movement. Staying nice and lifted out of your bottom shoulder, making yourself stronger. So maybe you can't hold for very long today. That's okay. You're going to hold as long as you can. We're at 1.30. I'm going to switch sides. And then you'll start adding on to your time, holding on as long as you can and adding on a few seconds. And when I say holding as long as you can, I mean holding until you start feeling discomfort, Maybe your arms start shaking. You think, I can't do it. And then and fight, see if you can do it a few seconds longer. You know, what's a few seconds? We're coming up on two minutes and I'm coming back to my forearms. And you know what happens whenever I do forearms first and hold it for very long and then go to my hands, it makes me shaky. Um, for whatever reason, I can hold on my hands for probably almost four minutes and then go to my forearms and I won't be shaky, but mm, when I do it this way, <laughs> but I'm challenging myself because here's the thing. If you don't, if you always do what's easy, you're never going to grow and you're never going to get stronger and not just in your planks or in the gym. We're at 2.30, by the way. It's also just in regular old life. You know, that's how you strengthen your mind even is by challenging yourself. I mean, that's why it's also a good idea to do some crossword puzzles occasionally and word finds, word search, watch Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> but you want to challenge yourself and not just, I mean, I think that's another way also you become old is by um, not growing and not strengthening yourself. Three minutes, I'm coming back. I am coming onto my hands. And I'm a little bit shaky, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, remember, whenever you switch like this, you want to make sure you come back to your nice, strong plank. Strong is the word of the day. Strong. Press into the floor. Separate your shoulders. Really activating that core. I mean, that's one of the reasons why you're doing plank. You're doing it to strengthen your core, which is your abs. It's also your lower back. You're strengthening your hands, your wrists, your legs. You're improving your posture. And all of that even makes you stronger because you know what comes with strength also is confidence. And when you're feeling confident, you're, you're going to like the way you feel when you're stronger. I mean, it's, it's just good stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to do another side plank when we get to four minutes because I love them. All right. We're coming up on four. And I got a few more, a couple more seconds. There we go. I'm going to switch to side plank on my hand lifting my hips, pressing your bottom hand into the floor, pressing the sole of your bottom foot toward the floor. You want to make sure you're not collapsing into your bottom ankle bone. Remember, the word collapsing is never good in yoga or plank or anything. Think about a building collapsing, your house of cards collapsing. It's not good. 
you sh you want to be nice and strong and active. 4:30, switching to my other hand, flipping my hair, <laughs> and you can bring your top foot in front of you. This is a balancing pose. You know, this is considered an arm balance. So this is really strong. If you can do a side plank on your hand with your feet stacked, kudos to you. You're doing something really good. I mean, it's all good. <laughs> if you're on a plank on your forearm, that's good. It's all good. If you're strengthening, toning, I mean, isn't that a great thing? So we're at five minutes already. I'm telling you, it's the fastest five minutes of my day. I'm gonna hold a few seconds longer. Keep pulling in your belly, pressing into the floor if you're holding with me, or maybe you were on your knees and you decided to come up on your hands again or get your knees up off the floor. Oh, we're at 520, goodness. All right. So remember, you're doing this for strength. You are doing this to become stronger. You don't have to be strong to start out. So don't use that as an excuse. Have a great day.